Hi there guys! Today I'm going to be di discussing with you how to look after a newborn kitten up to the age of about four weeks old. This age in a kitten's life is called neonatal. It's a difficult age because the kitten is of course very tiny and very vulnerable and things can go wrong very quickly. So it's important to really know what you are doing and um, get as much help as you can. Um, it's also very rewarding watching your tiny little newborn baby grow up into a strong, playful and happy kitten. So first of all, if you find a what you think is an abandoned kitten or litter of kittens, it's very important to make sure that the mommy cat isn't actually around. Mommy cats need to go off and look for food, so we'll leave their kittens alone for a certain time period. If you get to a point where you decide, no, mommy cat isn't coming back, these kittens are looking too cold, they're upset, they're not looking healthy, they need some help, then obviously take the kittens. The first thing you need to do, the most important thing, is to get those kittens warm. It's um, the biggest thing that can cause the death of a tiny kitten is if they get too cold. Uh, especially a kitten under two weeks of old can't regulate its own body temperature. So you want to warm it up safely over say about 20 minutes. You don't want to do it too fast. Take the little kitten, keep it skin to skin body contact and with your warm hands gently rub it until it starts warming up. Another thing that I really like to do is to get a microwavable bean bag warm it up to a nice temperature in the bean bag in the in, in your microwave not too hot just a nice temperature and um, cover it with a little cloth or blankie and let your kitten warm up on it but make sure there's a tiny space in the kitten's bed so that if the kitten gets too warm he or she can move off the bean bag because again being too hot is actually just as dangerous as being too cold you want your kitten to be at the right temperature once your kitten is nice and warm, this is a good time to feed your kitten. Um, I have discussed in a previous video how to feed a kitten, so you can go and have a look at that. But in this video, I have also included a chart on how often and how much to feed a kitten of a different age group. Newborn kittens can feed between every hour and every two hours. Say you find a kitten on its first day of life it will be feeding every hour and of course the older it gets that time period will extend but in the first three weeks of your kitten's life don't expect to sleep through the night it is a full-time job they are going to want to be fed right through the day but after three weeks you should be able to get a little bit more sleep baby could easily sleep through the night but they are still going to need feeding right through the day if you would like a more in-depth description on how to feed your kitten there's a link that you can click on and go and have a look once your kitten is nicely fed they are more than likely going to want to go straight to sleep a neonatal kitten doesn't spend much time awake they feed and then they sleep so straight after you've given your kitten milk make sure that you clean any spilled milk off your kitten so that it doesn't get dirty and matted and then warm up your bean bag nicely and put your kitten down and chances are that within a minute or two they're going to go right off to sleep. If they don't settle and they keep on crying and keep on meowing and just niggle and niggle and niggle, that's a strong sign that you want to get your kitten to the vet ASAP. Once your kitten wakes up, they're going to have a full bladder. A, a small kitten also can't go to the kitty litter by itself. Usually what the mommy cat would do is clean by the anus area just to stimulate any pee or any poo. So this is a job that you are now going to have to do for the baby. Take a cloth, wet it ever so slightly, take your kitten and do tiny little clockwise circles around the kitten's anus area and this will help the kitten to pass urine and pass pee and this will also make your kitten much more comfortable. And then once again, your cycle of feeding your baby, cleaning your baby, and putting your baby to sleep is going to repeat. From around three weeks old, 
you can start helping your kitten to use the kitty litter by itself. So make sure that you set up a nice kitty litter tray near the kitten's bed that's easy for the kitten to, even if you have to cut a little hole in the box so that the kitten can climb up in it and regularly throughout the day. Just take your kitten, put him or her on the kitty litter box and you'll be surprised how quickly a, a tiny kitten will learn to use the kitty litter. And then from about four weeks of age, you can start introducing very soft solids to your kitten. Um, at this age, it's still very important for them to drink milk though. So offer them the soft solids about four, even six times a day, just small amounts, and then keep on offering them their milk. If they're battling to eat, you can even take the soft food and mix it in with the milk. That helps a lot if you've got a kitten who's battling to eat solids. But from around six weeks of age, the kitten should be able to eat much harder food. Many kittens at six weeks of age can even eat pellets. So what I like to do from six weeks is to still offer the kitten soft food, say around four times a day, but to leave a tiny little bowl of pellets out for the kitten to start helping itself. But again, milk at this age is still very important. From around seven weeks of age, you can slowly, slowly, slowly start tapering out the milk and offering them more solids and making sure that they start getting used to having a bowl of water by them so that they can help themselves to water. From around nine weeks of age, your kitten should be eating solids beautifully and they won't really be needing their milk anymore. Some nine week old kittens still like their milk, but it's not really a necessity. So you should have a strong, healthy, happy, bouncy little kitten who's eating their solids, off their milk and drinking water beautifully. A very important thing to mention during this whole process is that communication with your vet and visits to your vet are very important. There's a, as I said, there's a lot that can go wrong with a small kitten and there's a lot of diseases that a small kitten could be carrying or could develop. So do get your kitten to the vet as soon as you can they'll be able to see if there's anything that the kitten needs treatment for and also to be a support, to give you help, to answer any of your questions. It will all increase the chance that your kitten's gonna grow up strong and healthy. And a final message before I end off. If you have found a little kitten and decide to bring it home, but you already have cats at home, do not, until you've gotten the all clear from your vet, introduce your little kitten to your adult cats that you already have at the house. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe for regular cat videos.